What is up, YouTube? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Sun and Moon Wi Fi battle video. I appreciate you guys coming to this battle video today. Of course, if you end up enjoying the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos. Yes, so we have a great battle today against Quote, aka Sean. And he's actually one of my best friends. We had a party and he bought his DS and I bought my DS and we got a chance to battle. So I ended up just tweaking out the team that I had before. So the last video I had my Grapion and my uh, Sylveon. I just wanted to bring other Pokemon. So I have Raikou, uh, Shangalure, Asuncion, the Swallow, and then Hornet, the Buffalon. My opponent has a very threatening team. He's got Chimantar, Weavile, Chimantrum, Slowbro. Those Pokemon are just, they're tough to deal with, but we'll see how we do in this video. So I'm going to start out with Raikou here. Raikou is choice specs. So I can dish out a lot of damage up front. He starts off with Weavile here. I know, I know from experience that Weavile can go for fake out. But it's like, you know, I could probably deal with it and I can go for a Volt Switch. But then, back in my mind, I know Garchomp may be coming in. So I took this as a good opportunity to go into Drapion, expecting a Fake Out or something like that. But he goes into Garchomp. Not a good matchup here because he hangs out the Earthquake is coming. So I switch out into Essential One. And this is perfect because... My flame orb activates on that same turn. Therefore, Facade is going to do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, I do not take out Garchomp because Garchomp is pretty is pretty bulky. Unfortunately, this Dragon Claw is going to finish me off. So you know, Swell Swell did his best. I want him to do this, but it just didn't work. But that's okay. I want to go into Sylveon. This particular Sylveon, I got this from one Gertrude. It's a shiny Sylveon. It's very bulky. It's got Reflect, Moonblast, uh, Baton Pass, and one other move. So in this scenario, I'm going to go with a Reflect. Because I know physical moves will be doing a lot of damage here, going for the Reflect will do half the damage. So you see just how much I did. I really should have gone for a Moonblast, but seeing that he has Tyranitar in the back, uh, his Weavile, I need to have the Reflect up. I don't have the Light Clay, unfortunately, but that's fine. That is fine with me. Um, he goes into Gengar, and I don't know, because he, he does not battle competitively, like he doesn't follow the rules, so therefore, he has to bring a Mega Gengar. Uh, Mega Gengar is banned in standard play because it is too powerful. But I do have Igrapi on here, who will take the Sludge Bomb even though the Reflect is up. Uh, the Reflect doesn't really affect special moves, but like, I resist the Sludge Bomb, so that's a good sign. I want to force him out of here. I'm going to go for the knockoff even though he brings in Slowbro. Slowbro is pretty bulky so I know it can it can take a, a very powerful knockoff to the face right here. I knock off a expert belt which I don't normally see that. Here I make a really stupid play. I end up going for the poison uh, strategy where you go for toxic spikes. I really should have just said that but yeah I go for the toxic spikes. Which, I don't know, in, in my head, I thought I could bring a couple of Pokemon out here to get poisoned. What I really should have done is just go for another knockoff. So here I'm trying to poison the Slowbro, because I know Slowbro has Regenerator as an ability. Unfortunately, I just don't do well, and I basically sacrifice Drapion for no reason. But that is fine with me. I go into Hornet here. Hornet is my Bufalant, who is Life Orb. 
So I can go for a wild charge, even if she wants to bring back in Gengar, expecting a normal type move like the head charge, which is Hornet's signature move. I don't have to go for that because I can just go for an earthquake and finish off Gengar's career. So you see the toxic spikes disappear on me because the Gengar is part poison. I really shouldn't have done that with Gapion earlier. But that is fine. I revealed the Earthquake to my opponent. I think he was surprised about this because he didn't really see the life orb. And the fact that Gengar has cursed Boggy and not Levitate. Because I know from the past generations, he had um, the other ability, uh, Levitate. So Earthquake wouldn't have worked in the last generation. So here is Tyranitar. I'm really surprised he outspeeds me. Because he has payback, and of course payback will do double the damage if you go last. So, I don't know what's going on there. I go to Lumiosa here. Lumiosa is my Shangalure. And the reason I did this is so I can burn this Tyranitar. Tyranitar is quite powerful. So, trying to cut his attacking power in half is probably a good answer. Look at that. This was even without the critical hit. And now, this is where things get a little bit crazy in this match, okay? So, I know I can outspeed Tyranitar. I have Pain Split. And of course, Pain Split is going to do what it's going to show you right now. I get all of my HP back, and then Tyranitar takes some of his HP down a little bit. Unfortunately, he gets a critical hit. I would have survived that Stone Edge. Probably. Because based on how much I took it from the last turn, I know I can just take it really well. And then I go into Raikou, I really should have gone for a Thunderbolt. Because I ended up going for a Volt Switch instead. And that does a good amount. Had I went for the Thunderbolt, I would have taken out Tyranitar. Man, that was, that was something right there. And then he goes for another Stone Edge. He hits it, and then gets a critical hit again. Me and Sean were just like, what is going on here? I don't know what's going on. I mean, Tyranitar is burnt, therefore he shouldn't be doing that much, but he's getting a critical hit to make up for it. That is extremely unfortunate. My last Pokemon is, you know, Raikou at this point, because this is a very fast match. So all I have is a choice back Raikou. I go for a a key bolt there. We take out the Tyranitar. Unfortunately, I have to go for a Thunderbolt instead of the Hidden Power Ice. He still has his Tyranitarum and uh, I think Slowbro because I don't think I hit him very hard. I get a critical hit on that uh, Thunderbolt, which is not very effective to Tyranitarum. And then he goes with another critical hit move to finish me off. So, this whole battle, even though this was an 18 turn battle, um, you know, the critical hits that he got in this match pretty much determined the whole thing. And I'm just really baffled that he was able to get that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the match. I know this was really short, but you gotta upload something, so. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next Wi-Fi battle. Make sure you, you know, stick around for that. And then follow me on Twitter for updates and other things like that. Thank you to my opponent for the match. Hope I battle you again. And uh, yeah, have a great day, everyone. See ya.